What's me too? Capital G here. So let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I've gotten so many messages about this. I've gotten emails about this. I've got people commenting on my videos. Oh my goodness, Cap, did you hear about this? Billy Bray got banned, etc., etc. So I figure I might as well just go ahead and address it because I know that other YouTubers have uh, made videos about it. And if you were on Zodiac Duelist last night, it was just a freaking madhouse. I just left because I was like, okay, I guess this is all anyone's going to talk about is uh, Billy Bray getting banned banned and i mean it was almost like a new ban list had just dropped or something like that so if you guys have not heard billy or i like to call him william billy break has been banned unsupporting conduct cheating and it is a uh, six month ban if you guys want proof here's the official Yu-Gi-Oh! suspended players list and you see right there billy presley b i'm actually surprised that they put him under billy and not william i, I know that william is his real name but the interesting thing is and I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a very, very long time. This is the shortest suspension I have ever seen in my entire life. It is only a six-month suspension, and that is pretty crazy because they classified it under cheating, and I have never seen someone get suspended for cheating and it not be at least a one-year suspension. In fact, if you go on this page and you look at every other instance of cheating, it's all that, I mean, every single time, it's like one year, two years. I think I've even seen the uh, the cheating severe, and it's like, uh, you know, like three years or something like that. I have never heard of a six-month suspension. So that is already pretty interesting, and it tells you that this is 100% just a slap on the wrist. Now, I'm going to just try to give you guys the information, leave my opinions out of it. It's not going to be a video like Dick Sucking Billy because there's already so many memes. Actually, you know what? Before I really even jump into what happened, let me just show you guys one of my favorite memes. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the best meme you're going to find it was done by um by my homeboy marcos his name is midnight dream shout out to him i guess this is like a plug he posted this on zodiac and he posted it on his facebook and obviously it's a meme of dragon ball z it's uh billy basically saving the world sacrificing himself and uh you can see you can see that john moore is just crying he's like billy no and uh, yeah this guy is really talented he's the one who made my um who made my channel banner with winda and leo dancer and all that good stuff but what happened why did billy get banned or why did you know why is he classified under cheating did he cheat because when i first heard that it was under cheating i was like whoa how could that be i mean from what everything that i know about billy He's a clean player. He has a lot of admiration and respect for the game. And I think if you play the game as long as him or John Moore or me or some of the other tubers who have played the game since the original Duel Monsters, like you have to really love this game. I don't think that these are players who are known for cheating. And uh, it was kind of shocking to me. But basically, here is what happened. And I'm going to play this. I'm not sure if you guys will actually be able to hear it. Um, if not, I will have this linked so that you guys can just go to the video, check out. It's only like four seconds where billy kind of explains what happened and uh it, this him and him saying this in this video is basically what led him to get banned uh let me just go ahead and roll it i seen that uh, <laughs> i played jackson last round and she beat me and felt sorry for me and was like i don't need these points anyway Give all right me the win pause so what he said right there is i'm gonna try and quote him verbatim he said i played jackie in the last round jackie being his girlfriend who also got suspended for six months he said i played jackie in the last round and she beat me she felt sorry for me and said i don't need these points and she gave me the win the problem with that is once he said she beat me and uh she decides to basically give him the win at that point they are breaking konami policy now john moore has spoken out about this i'm going to tell you guys what john moore said and then i'm going to go to the konami policy because what john moore said might be true but it seems to directly conflict what billy implies in the video or not really what he implies what he basically said so let me go ahead and read what john moore said i just want to give you guys all the information so that you can come to your own conclusions right so what John Moore posted was, John Moore said, uh, Billy and Jackie signed the slip before the match and turned it in. Then they played uh, for practice, and that's the match referred in this video. Okay, uh, they did not alter the tournament result. And that might be true. What John Moore said might be 100% true. Uh, in my personal opinion, it seems to directly conflict what Billy would say. Because, like, why would Billy be just talking about, like, why would he say she beat me and gave me the win if they're talking about a practice game? Like, who, that does, I don't know, that just doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. Not saying that John is lying or that Billy's lying, but to me, those two things just don't relate. I've never heard of anybody practicing and saying, oh, man, she 
beat me in a practice game, but she, you know, she gave me the win for the pra practice game. Like that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, let me show you guys why that was considered actually breaking tournament policy, because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Cap, does this seem like this is justified? If Billy and Jackie played and Jackie wanted to give Billy the win, why couldn't she? Because obviously you can scoop at any time. Here is the exact Konami policy, word by word. I'm not going to change anything. Concessions. A player may concede a game at any time during the course of the game or match, including during the opponent's turn, provided he or she has not been offered or accepted any sort of compensation for doing so, because obviously if you accept compensation, then that's considered bribery. Uh, once a match has concluded, this is the important part. Uh, players may not concede to the opponent. The, uh, may not concede to the opponent. Now, Billy just said Jackie beat me. So the second that the match actually concludes, the second that you know she reduces his life points to zero, or she decks him out, or she draws Exodia, or whatever her win condition was, the opportunity for her to concede the game is officially closed. Konami doesn't care if. Uh, Konami doesn't care if the player doesn't want the win or whatever. What they're saying is the official tournament policy is you can no longer scoop to your opponent. Anytime before that, before she strikes that final blow, she can scoop for whatever reason. She can say, I got to go to the bathroom and I don't want to sit here and sign this slip. I just want to, you know, whatever. I'm leaving. I just want to get Billy to win, et cetera, et cetera. That's perfectly fine. But the second that she actually wins the duel, she no longer has the ability to actually scoop. So now let's talk about is this actually justified? Is this splitting hairs? Because <clears throat> I honestly think I understand this situation. For starters, from what Billy said and from what the tournament actual policy is, Billy did, in fact, break the rules. Now, I think it is kind of harsh to classify him under cheating because... I don't know, man, that, that really seems like that stains his reputation. Maybe they could have put unsupporting, you know, unsupporting conduct minor or something like that instead of putting the word cheating there. But I guess according to the tournament uh, policy, he did technically cheat. And I think that's the reason why his uh, his penalty was uh, basically just kind of a slap on the wrist, because I think Konami knows that he didn't he, he honestly wasn't trying to break the rules but the reason that i think konami actually had to kind of step in because i don't think konami wanted to do this the fact that they gave him a six month suspension which i have never heard of kind of tells me that they didn't want him to or they didn't want to actually suspend billy and i think this is just me being i guess an uh you know armchair psychologist is what they call it i don't think konami wants to suspend high caliber players like billy break and jeff jones people who have been playing this game for years years and years and years who you've seen in every single era win YCSs and you know has regional tops that would make your head spin 50 and 60 people like Jeff Jones and Del Belito Patrick Hill. I don't think Konami actually wants these players out of the game I think they like having them in there and the reason that I think that they pretty much felt like they had to act was because of the new regional point system and the fact that regionals can now get you the Worlds. Even though Worlds is basically kind of an all-star game, or at least that's how I kind of think it is, Worlds is still the most prestigious event in Yu-Gi-Oh! for the entire year. And when you think about it, there's only about 25 players in the entire world who get to go to that. And, you know, I believe Yu-Gi-Oh! last year, 140,000 players actually entered premier events like regionals and stuff like that so you're thinking 25 out of 140,000 get to go to this event it's a pretty big deal and I think Konami probably looked at it as okay Billy if Jackie scooped to you under this circumstance because she felt bad for you how many other players have done that because they know you have the uh you know you're chasing down the world points because my understanding is and i could be wrong about this don't crucify me i believe that jeff jones and billy break are both within like the top three or four when it comes to the world's point system so obviously it's a it's a very tight race and you know depending on who does what at the uh the nawcq that might determine who ends up going to worlds like if billy finishes six you know versus like finishing eighth or something like that that might be or maybe he finishes you guys get what i'm saying it's a very tight race i, I guess i'm providing a little bit of some bad examples but i think that because of the new point system when it comes to worlds i think konami felt like they had to act now is it justified in my opinion yes because the rules are the rules and it really does uh it really brings a little light to 
if you are a Yugi tuber, especially if you're close to, I guess, high caliber players like, um, you know, John Moore and uh, Billy Break are roommates or Noah Green and he's always hanging out with like the card guys. If you're a big uh, high caliber player or if you're a Yugi tuber, watch what you post on your channel. I've said multiple times in the past, people have called me dumb when I say that, guys. Konami watches our videos. Konami does find ways to get info or they find ways to get information when it comes to our videos. And this is a prime example. Konami me somehow some way found this video and even though this video was posted three months ago billy got banned yesterday because of it so you know watch what you post on your facebook watch what you say in these videos because you're talking casually and you kind of forget the cameras on you but konami big brother is always watching it um it is unfortunate because if Billy cannot appeal this, and I don't really know if I see a possibility of him being able to appeal this within a couple of months before Worlds, he won't be able to go to Worlds, and it seems like he probably would have been a shoe in Now, it's actually pretty uh, interesting. i seen uh, Shusuke Hiyama on his Twitter. He, he apparently is talking trash about Billy. He posted Billy who? Now, this is translated. It was originally in Japanese, but he's essentially like, Billy who? I mean, I don't know if he really doesn't know who Billy Break is, or if he's like Billy who like that dude is nothing I am a two-time world championship winner he is beneath me even though he has like four YCS wins and stuff but what do you guys think of this entire ordeal do you guys think that it was unfair that Konami suspended Billy I mean I think by the lay of the law yes he should have been suspended I think that Konami didn't want to do it and that they understood that he didn't have any malicious intent which is why he got a slap on the wrist again I've never heard of a six-month suspension that is the that is the least amount of time I've ever heard of anybody being suspended I just think it's unfortunate that it comes at this time where he won't be able to go to Worlds because you know you never know when you're gonna have a great year and maybe next year he has kind of a, a couple of terrible formats and he's not able to go or you know it, it is really unfortunate to have I guess the world's race that was basically going to be decided, I assume, by the NAWCQ kind of, you know, in, the, in like this. So you guys let me know. And um, I mean, I can't really blame Konami. They're just they're they're basically just enforcing their rules. So anyways, whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I just wanted to inform people so uh, people could stop asking me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. And one last thing, because I need to point out a bunch of hypocrisy I've been seeing, and it's actually pretty annoying. I've seen a lot of people saying, well, Billy shouldn't have been banned. This is too hard. She's a pro player. Come on, Cap. He's a great guy. He's got an epic beard. Why'd they have to go ahead and ban him and whatnot? But these are the same people who were basically saying that VCTRFS should have been banned because he was breaking the rules, and it doesn't really matter if somebody reported him. He was still breaking the rules. And my thing is, if you're going to have that mentality, just stay consistent. I mean, according to what Billy said of his own volition and his own words he broke the rules and I showed you guys the tournament policy that basically says that if you believe that VCTRFS should have gotten suspended because he broke the rules then you have to agree that Billy should have gotten suspended because he broke the rules as well doesn't matter if you like Billy or if you like VCTRFS you just need to stay consistent so you're not a hypocrite